What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Kaldheim draft. I was just talking about this new cable management system I'm going to use. I want to put them in the back of my desk, like this. So if this is the desk, I'm going to put them like this. So they're going to stick out on the edge, and then I'm just going to put my cords through them. Because I got some cords hanging down right now. And if they go through here, should take some of the, uh, you know. Got Demon Bolt and Raven, those are good. This card seems like a trap. Every time I draft this card, not only do you need snow mana, you need creatures of power four or greater. This feels uncommon to me. I'm going to take Avalanche Caller because that guy feels mythic. Here we are. Never again. Oh, a little Burgles. Jimmy Burgles over here. I think we want this Volatile Fjord, though. That's like the perfect land for the... For the snowy boys. Oh, a snow-covered Montagna, eh? We also got a Sculptor of Winter, an Ice Hide Troll, a Rune of Flight. None of those matter. So. I do have to find a drill bit big enough for these bad boys. do 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 Oh, frostbite! Ugh. It's like exactly what we want with two two red lands and a snow deck. We could also just pivot into giants. Probably not going to, but I'm just saying it's possible. None of these cards are great. Rootless U actually seems fine here. We could also like Horizon Seeker. Actually, like Horizon Seeker because. With the snow deck, you didn't have a bunch of random snow-covered lands. Like, oh, I got one plains, one forest, one swamp. So you can just go get those, which is pretty sweet. Plus, green is one of the more uh, common snow colors. Never again is what you saw. Just use the brain drilling size you used on my skull. Seems better. <laughs> Michael, don't tell people about that. God. Michael's just kidding, guys. I don't drill into his brain. <laughs> that would be wild. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, God. That's so awkward. Um... Port of Carfell is great. And nothing else really is. If he can still type, he clearly didn't go deep enough. He has a robot that types for him. It translates what whatever he's trying to say. What's the hold up, Chiefs? Chiefs? Okay, okay. Well. 
Yeah, I think it's just Skemfar Elder Hall. <sighs> oh, good. The one color I don't want. Eh, if we get path, I still kind of want it. I do want a snow-covered plains, I guess. And nothing here is any good. A late Starnheim courser. I mean, I'm taking the priest for obvious reasons, but uh, nevertheless, that dude was late. One, two, three, four, five, five lands. <sighs> Second dread rider. Right? Not what we're looking for, but that's okay. Uh... Oh, Graven lore. And a spirit of the Alder Guard. I think it's I think it's Graven Lore. If if this, 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 or this, or this comes back, I'm pretty okay with it. Stop! What are you doing? Why are you being like this? Well, there's another frostbite. Also a glittering frost. Snow covered mountain. Morit of the Frost. Battle of Frost and Fire. I mean, this is just a board wipe, so. Yeah, that's hard to pass. I'm not going to take Morit over, over board wipe. Oh, man. Rhymewood Falls. Spirit of the Alder Guard's got to be just better, though. It gets any land. Never again is what you swore The time before Iron Verdict, but I'm really trying to limit the amount of white we have Raise the Draugr is actually pretty decent I'll take Raise the Draugr Glacial Floodplain is a little bit better like rootless you here though yeah, i'll take the rootless you or elder fang disciple just making them do i just like elder fang disciple i'm just like ravenous ratsia burglar rat it's a rat it's one of the rats oh sulfurous mine is beautiful that is beautifully late Wither Crown's fine. It's not exciting, but it's fine. Um, Bear Spirit. Yeah, I'll take Wither Crown. It is getting a little icy. It's getting a little chilly up in here. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, Woodland Chasm and Glittering Frost came back? Jeez. Oh, 
I'm gonna take the chasm. I think we have just a higher chance of getting another glittering frost. Hailstorm Valkyrie. We have one, two, three, four, five, six lands so far. Yeah, we're taking the Valkyrie. I mean, even as a two-two flyer before, it's it's not great, but it's fine. I do like Frost Pyre. Six creatures so far, huh? Yeah, I'm going to take the Frost Pyre. We have a lot of lands coming into play tapped right now, so. Um, Iron Verdict is still good, even if we're not going to be playing that much white. You'll get caught up in the frost pyre. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have tw 12 playables. We need a good amount of playables. Hey, Valkyrie came back. Oh, that definitely helps. Ooh, burning rune demon. We can get. We can also find this guy with the rootless U. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I mean, alternatively, we have demon bolt, raven, and mountain. Yeah, we're definitely taking the. Definitely taking six six flyer for six. Uh, this is a five color draft. It is not a stip, however. <laughs> We could have double Battle of Frost and Fire? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. Wow. I mean, I also want Path, and I also like Replicating Ring, but I mean, like, these are the two I'm really... I mean, we could add we could add Master Scald with Battle of Frost and Fire as well. We could also get another Path, which I think is much more likely. Blood on the Snow? <laughs> We're gonna have three Sweepers in our deck? I mean, we're definitely taking blood on the slip. What the fuck? This is pretty wild. Wow. Definitely taking glittering frost here. We don't have a glittering frost. We would definitely like a glittering frost. Never again. Is what you swore the time before. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six lands that come into play tapped. It's kind of rough. But I mean, I don't really see what the alternative here is. Like, I'm not going to take a Pilfering Hawk. Coma's Faithful could be fine as it gives us a way to, like, just gain life. Yeah, I think I just want the red, the red snow land. Look, a Clarion Spirit. I was literally bitching about this in the last draft. And now all of a sudden, it's sixth pick here. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Okay, I'm pretty... This is a... What, what is this late re Rydane? What in the earth? Well, we're definitely taking that. Especially because we just took two White Lands in Snowfield, Sinkhole, and Alpine Meadow. Wow, that's insane. I don't even understand. Oh, 
Total Reckless crew, guys. That's pretty cool. I mean, I kind of just like Masked Vandal here. Never again. What you saw the time before. We have 11 creatures right now. I think we're still a few playable short, but we can easily play like uh, Iron Verdict and Master Scald here because we've picked up a, quite a bit more white. Iron Scald also gets Battle of Frost and Fire back when it's when it's cashed in. I don't think we want another five drop. I think I'm just leaning towards the Draugr here. Yeah, another rootless you. Hey, the faithful came back. Okay. I'm assuming we're probably in playable territory now, for sure. Okay. Well, there's a lot of master stalls now. Sure. Oh, look, my vault progressed. Wow. This is exactly 40. That's hilarious. How many black sources is this? One, two, three, four black sources, huh? I feel like black is one of our highest represented colors. Nine? It's literally the, mo the color card we have most of. Okay. Twenty three hundred percent? Good lord, man. Never again. Six seventeen lands. Interesting. I mean, we also have Double Horizon Seeker. This deck looks real grindy. I don't know if Master Scald is actually worth it in here. And Guardian Gladewalker might just be fine. <laughs> I can't do anything right. Oh, man. I mean, I think we're definitely black green. How's our green looking? Six. And then we have like very minimal blue, red, and white. Um, I don't know if we want to mill ourselves. Yeah, I'm gonna take the port out. I'll keep the Sirtland Frostpire and the Skimfar Elder Hall. I think those are both good. So we definitely want more swamps. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three. We have five black sources here. Right. You know what we're doing. Blue, black, red, green. Black, we have five. So we have one, two, three, and then two swamps. White, we have one, two, three. And we have Glittering Frost, which is also going to help us a lot. Blue, we have one, two, three, just three again.
red we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And green we have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So this is still 17 lands. Interesting. So we have the most red, which is unfortunate because all of our red is snow. Like one, two, three red snow, one, two snow. And then we have Certland Frostpire, which is just good. But I don't, we might just be able to cut this and add like, yeah, I'm actually gonna cut that and just add another green source. I don't know what it added in response to that. That's really frustrating. Do you add another, another, another blue? That's weird. Okay, so we have islands, swamps, and forests here. I, mean, I just want green because green has Glittering Frost and Horizon Seeker, so it lets us actually cast our other things. So it's kind of important to have a good amount of green. One, two, one, two. We still get two more cards. It might just be Skullerade at the four drop. I don't know if it's Battle of Frostbite. It just kills a lot of our things. So it's nice to have like I'm actually tempted to play one more land, to be quite honest, like port. <sighs> Always play dubs battle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about all that. Like, I'm really tempted. Like, I mean, the, the problem with this is that, like, in my experience with deck like, decks like this, when you have Graven Lore, when you have Battle of Frostpire, um, you run out of cards very quickly. So I'm not necessarily interested in milling myself, or I might just play another Rootless U. Unfortunately, we'd only have one creature to get with it, though. <laughs> for a 60-card deck, I definitely don't think I have the sideboard for that. I have four playables here. No, I have more, I guess. I have to turn those bad boys off. I mean, it's just Master Scald. It gets back Battle of Frost. It's a, bo it's a body on the board. Yeah, we'll just play the Master Scald. That seems fine. I'm actually curious how many creatures we have. 14? That's actually not bad. Never again is what you saw the time before. Uh, snap. I mean, there's a turn three seeker. We can get out any land. Be snowing. Stop. <laughs> He's just whining nonstop, dude. Boy, they're really taking their time here. <laughs> Got 
Got he. Oh, I like that next turn we can go get a land and then Skull Raid. Well, you know, put it in the... Little suspend zone. Get in the zone! Suspend zone! Ooh, they don't have double ice. I will 1,000% trade with that guy. Oh, boy. Wow, that card is great. I am thrilled I got to trade with that thing. Oh, next time we get to play Red Rydane and also Skull Raid. That's pretty cool. Baby, I can't please the gun. Talk me a fucking bitch with bones. Yeah, the artifact side's good, but. 2 3 flyer with vigilance and, and taxing them and putting their snowlands into play tap is also not terrible. Um, sure. They have no reason not to attack, so I got it. So sneaky. Well, this is a very, very dark hand here. Oh, they're gonna saw it coming this? Wow, this is, oh, it's all right. We do need another black source here. <laughs> How nice. Come on, snow covered land. Yep, there it is. Really frustrating that they fucking played Snakeskin Veil vale into awkward fucking snow mana configuration. I guarantee you they're gonna hit one snow land next turn before we do. And they're gonna make this into like a 7-7 seven, seven draw carter. There it is. Fucking amazing. Incredible. Yep, never fucking fails. <laughs> Two, three. I guess we do this, right? It's so wild. It's like... Cool. Yep. Fucking snow mirror match. Good times. Wow. Fantastic. Absolutely incredible. Yep. Good 
stuff. Good stuff is happening here, guys. Now I am just all in on Battle of Frost and Fire. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay. <laughs> oh, good times. incredible. I was going to get some more drink before before we started, but here we are. Oh, good, a Narfi. That's super great. That's my favorite. Really don't feel like trading a rootless you for a narfi here. I, mean, I think we're gonna have to eventually, but he said seconds later as he traded.
This is probably an 18 land deck. <laughs> oh boy. Like we just take seven next turn, we go to fucking seven and like can't cast this. I guess we can play this and then double block. It's not great. Feels like our options are just kind of trash here, so. I'm definitely gonna blow in the snow next turn. Get back nothing, I think. Yeah, that definitely helps my decision. But then they just get back Narfi. Ideally, we draw a snow land, whether tapped or untapped, so we can get a four drop back. Asking for too much, apparently. Yep. So blood in the snow, and then end up trying to still bring back Narfi. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede here. It's not worth my fucking time. Maybe we had an 18th land. I'm also going to let Hunter out because he won't shut the fuck up, so. <laughs> Give me like three minutes. Okay, I took the dogs out. Got more to drink. Went to the bathroom. I feel like we could 2 1 with this deck. <sighs> I purged some of the salt from the system. Let's see if any of it makes a difference. <laughs> Corby, I don't know about all that, but I appreciate you saying so, buddy. Why is, why is this song stuck in my head? Did you salt your sidewalk? No. No, I did not. 
Oh, well. Maybe this time we'll get it. Okay, Horizon Seeker could turn this turn this on. Well, yeah, it seems good. Well, it seems adequate. Well, how's the weather looking? Let's check that out. As you guys know, it was supposed to snow. As you guys know, it was supposed to snow. Nothing yet. Now it's moved from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So. Keep on. Keep on moving. It is currently like 35 right now. Interesting. So the white was helpful, actually. Oh, what up, my nerd? Pac-Man! Guys, it was Packer. He was the one who left the package in my office. Oh, they fed the servant the bad guy? Buddy, I don't know about all that. Christ. I mean, I feel like Graven Lore is actually a bit of a stretch for this deck now. I didn't realize it at the time. All you little landies. Oh, good. So we can suicide our horizon seeker to get a blue source. Why would they tap like that's so funny? Like, t leave me, leave me the friggin' mana to. To pump this thing, please. Sure. 
sure. He's like, now I can, now you may rest. Oh, okay. I mean, it's definitely worth it. Like, if there was a card that said, if this is on the board uh, during your upkeep, you take a damage, but all your creatures enter the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter, like, I'd definitely play that, so. They have no cards in hand? Okay, that's very weird. We're definitely going to attack get a blue. Okay. sacrifice our planes here. Okay, I think we took control of this game. Would you like to sacrifice your planes to kill your opponent's things? Sure would. mana do we have? We have one untapped, two untapped? No green though, right? Why didn't I attack with this guy? I don't know. I'm playing, I'm trying to figure out, figure all this nonsense out, so. So what is this? Uh, one, two on a land, one, two on a land. This is four, I mean, this is definitely lethal on board. Four, eight, nine, one, six, like fifteen. Yeah, sure. Man, avalanche caller is a hell of a card. Good grief. All right. Well. Yeah, we actually have three blue sources in the whole deck. <laughs> Craven lore is a bit ambitious. But what are you going to do? I think I almost like Gladewalker over raised the Draugr here. It's just another guy we can play early. You know what? I mean, it's got three of our four colors. We have one of our islands for the Graven Lord. I only use a black. It's not terribly hard to ask for. Much to ask for. Nah, I don't know. White card. If this is a Sorolf's pack mate instead of a Skull Raid, boy, we'd be in a much different position. I 
I have yet to open a coma in a draft. I would love to open a coma. See if it started snowing yet. Oh, wow, and you get to untap all those lands, huh? I mean, Valkyries don't actually do anything here, so... <laughs> yeah, make that guy unblockable. Sweeper. Alright, I like this guy. He does get us another blue, which is pretty sweet. We can also get another green. Oh, we actually can get... Huh. I might get black-green here because... Well, Scald doesn't get us anything back right now. We don't also have white-green or white-blue. We have black-white. Black-green. Yeah, let's get the black-green. Play the black-green. Because that lets us play Rootless U, and Rootless U gets Demon, and we can play Demon with that. I mean, we're dead because we take six here, and then they attack us for three with Yeti. So, you know. Okay. Nah, just kidding. You wish we could draw. Well, so, so, so it sucks because even if we draw Sweeper, they still just get to kill us with Narfi because every opponent gets to kill us with Narfi. Because all of the opposing snow decks are better than our snow deck, so. I mean, that's just fact. That's not me complaining. I mean, I'm complaining about it, but it's also fact, so what are you going to do? 15 creatures? I think we can cut a Valkyrie and just bring in the stupid battle. Battle just seems like it's good. <laughs> I don't know why I only played two. This might be a situation where we just go Horizon Seeker into Spirit. Because we have the mana for it. second blue here um i guess volatile fjord is probably the best pick we have double black we have yeah i'll just take the fjord they don't have double black so they can't feed the serpent They only have one snow land, so that's all they're untapping with Yorn.
Don't need a white. Uh, I do need a second black, so it's got to be this one or this one, but I'd rather have a second green as well. Just attack for seven here. Yeah, that seems good. Think of a ten. How many blues do we have? We got two blues already. I'll just get another shot. So even if we held back, still would not have helped. I mean, we can go Burning Rune Demon and get Battle of Frost and also Blood on the Ice, and both are pretty good. One, two, three, four. So we'll have five, potentially six snowlands when we play Blood on the Ice. However, if they give us a uh, Blood on the Snow, I guess it is not Blood on the Ice. Um, interesting. So we can get back the demon. See, that's interesting. There are one. Okay, well, one, one. Can this, can this deck? We also haven't drawn Battle of, uh, Battle of Frost once yet. <laughs> so, that's something. Let's add the second one in there. Maybe it's a, maybe we were fools to not play it. I'll take out one Hailstorm Valkyrie. It's a little mana intensive. 
Oh, I didn't like raise the Draugr either. Watch, we're gonna play against red, red, blue giants here. You ready? ship the glade walker i think it has the least upside oh ambient rain sounds are, are the place to be man that was a good draw gives us a black source gives us a second Nice little snowy land to play there, and now we're gonna have golden pick with no with no boys. I mean, this is pretty good. Next turn we get to go priest, avalanche collar, keep up frostbite, also burning demon the following turn if we can. So this. We also just start attacking for eight. Which I do not hate. Well, that's unfortunate. We cannot attack for eight any longer. I'm your demon daddy. How many things do we have on there? So we can get avalanche. One, two, three. We have four lands. Um, I don't know. Battle of Frost and Master Scald, I guess. I mean, they're going to give us Masters. No, they're going to give us Battle of Frost, right? Which isn't great for them, right? We get the Scry 3. Find a 5 drop. Berserker, would you like some making a berserker? It is a giant, unfortunately. So, Oh my god, I didn't even see that. I'm not actually a terrible magic player, unfortunately. Well, I guess we can battle a frost and kill his, uh, at least kill his two elfy boys.
I mean, I really just want the, the scry three and then the potential to... to maximize that. Man, they're so treasury. Oh, boy. That's nice. Um, I'll just take these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. Five. No. blue. Okay, yeah, I guess we have to do it with that then. Um, oh, do we have... Oh, oh, oh okay, they're just gonna concede. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that's pretty good. Well... Invoke seems decent. I guess we already have Master Vandal. I don't know. Deck seems fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. This hand seems good. Interesting. Just run the 1-3 out there as a 1-3. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, we're just going to play Swamp into Glitter Frost. I was like, oh no, I don't want to play Mountain and then play Glittering Frost on this. Because then we're going to sack it one day. So we're going to put it on this. Now we're still, we still have three per snow permanents now, so we can actually frostbite something for good value next turn. While also playing Spirit of the Alderguard. Oh, well, well. Well, well. So we definitely want a blue, maybe? Got a white, double black, green. Yeah, Woodland Chasm's probably fine. I'm actually surprised how many times Toski keeps getting getting card advantage against us. <sighs> Never fucking ends. I mean, I guess we could wither crown it, which is <coughs> unexciting, but fine. Oh, good. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's that's the play right there, my dudes. That's the play. You got it. We 
we have one, two, three snow lands. This is for snow lands. Oh, it's not a snowman that's meant to cast it, so we have five now. We potentially have six. So we can get spirit back. I should have attacked first. But... Um, let's play Wooden Castle because they know about it. Well, let's, let's get my scry on. I think this is probably good. I don't care about the Coma's Faithful right now. Draugr's also probably fine here. I kind of just want to play Redain base as an artifact. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think it's actually more. I don't want to like. I want to iron verdict this guy if we're just gonna like blow up the world. Yeah, we'll just play this on on the face down, and we'll put this over here. That's fine. We can take five here. We actually want them to commit more because we have blood on the snow. Plus we get to we get to draw two when we cast blood on the snow and get a creature back. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're just gonna play this. Uh, black. It's gotta be the correct play, right? We draw two. Why did it... Oh boy, it's so bad. Yeah, easy fjord here. I think it's raw too. <laughs> Big bear! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So next time we're gonna play two. Yeah, we're just getting snow covered planes. I don't think we're gonna actually play Draugr as well. I'd rather keep up four mana to make this a six six in case they have like Demon Bolt or <clears throat> Frostbite. have Graven. This is the second time I've walked into this fucking card. That sucks. 
That's actually pretty good. So we have one, two. Then we have one, two, activate, one, two, activate. So we can attack for eight here. Well, I hope they don't have another answer for Avalanche Caller in addition to this, 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 and this. Eight mana. Sure. I will take one. Exactly enough. Scry 3 is Deece. We got something. Never fucking mind, I guess. Just kidding. Oh, they're killing that. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I think long term, this is... Oh, boy, that's nice. Master Scald? What are we getting back with old Scaldi here? I guess battle? Oh no. They're like, pay three, I dare you. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, probably only want three of these, I guess. Is there a reason not to? Sure, that seems fine. Oh, I have full control. Okay. <laughs> and the turn. So Master Scald is also going to let us draw two cards and discard. Yeah, no blocks. Swamperino. Get back this guy. Exile. Berserker. Human Wizard. Oh, yeah, we're just getting rid of this guy. Two changelings, and we have a battle of frost and fire, so not ideal. But. Whatever.
I don't feel like you need that guy. And they could potentially play something that wipes the board. Plus, if they didn't have a creature last turn, I don't know how they're going to have two creatures this turn. Maybe they draw exactly two? Well, it's looking worse now. They do have four treasures, though. Oh, okay. Got he! Wow, 2-1. Wasn't sure. This deck had some slow mana, but I think that's a lot... Uh, a lot more common than than it may seem with these with the uh, like the four to five color controlling snow decks. <laughs> Double battle of frost, blood on the snow, good times. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry about the salt in the first round, but I was coming off of a pretty uh, pretty obnoxious match before that as well. So hopefully you guys will still consider following or subscribing or supporting the content in some way. It's a great way to uh, to keep me alive, to keep me eating food and have a roof over my head and pay for my netflix thank you guys for the support though really appreciate it hopefully you will uh slam those like and subscribe buttons and i will see you next time